Hi guys, welcome back to Standard Parallel. We're gonna do a couple more endings now. I hope. So, since you already saw the intro, um, Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge I to check on his co-workers. He never I'm functioned well by himself go and constantly right needed support door. and guidance from others. So and the then thought of total down solitude down was elevator. terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the employee lounge. Now and I Stanley know that knew it perfectly well. Right there so he turned left one. at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. Stanley was so Stanley bad at following down. directions, it's You're incredible he wasn't fired years ago. What, what Maybe this is why everyone about? had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere, and thus ruining yeah, the, the entire ending, story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. So when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. Uh, so, actually, uh, say again. Yeah. Then I can go down. I'm gonna save oh, that because right after I'm gonna do one where I go up. You know, you really aren't going anywhere, and I don't and say I don't that really deceitfully. Wanna... I truthfully mean that there no, isn't a really story down the here. The story was back up where I told you to go in the first place. Right yeah, know, now, you're just so running around looking at empty holes. And frankly, like that. that's perhaps even more infuriating for me. So why don't you throw me a sure, bone? Look. Give me a chance and just let me tell the story I want to tell, hmm? Maybe. I'll see about that. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this, so also it's because I forgot to record the video that I was planning. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Um. Good. Good. Now, if you don't mind, there's something I'd like to show you. But to do that, I think it would be best for us to start from the beginning. What? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? Uh, Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number uh, 427. Hi. His job pushing buttons demanded little of him, so there was not much of himself to give. And in this way, Stanley's job felt less and less like his every day. But if buttons need pushing one day, it means they'll need pushing the next Why? and then the next. So without question it. or judgment, Stanley continued to do what the screen told him. One keystroke flowed into another keystroke, flowed into his ride home, flowed into dinner, G. flowed into G. waking up, G. flowed into going to work, and here he was again. Stanley was typing out a complete sentence that said absolutely nothing at all. If in reality no one ever actually disappeared from the office and Stanley never got the opportunity to make a decision, to choose which path he wanted to take, Please would his dinner. life still have any meaning? Perhaps when we long for something deeply enough, these hopes and fantasies become so strong in our minds that we truly oh, believe that I, I, we're I guess there, it's from controlling the that person. I got and living that adventure. Yep. To manipulate your own thoughts and emotions might mean freedom from a self-imposed prison. But these delusions can be fatal to those who can't tell the difference. Mm. And so, Stanley asked, if that door never opened, if I'll never be able to walk away from those people and from these buttons, is this life still worth experiencing? Question Am nothing. I actually happy? <laughs> Stanley yep. answered this question by pushing a button. Then he pushed a button, and then he pushed a button. <laughs> then he pushed a button. <laughs> then he pushed a button. That what that one was really weird though. Okay, so Ah crap. Well 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 well. Um, let's do that one again then. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself one. and constantly needed support and guidance from others. 
So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. This was not the correct way yeah, to know. the employee lounge, and Stanley knew it perfectly knew, well. Perfectly so he turned well. left at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. Stanley was so bad at following nah, directions, up. it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. Shut and since he was up. walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. So when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped okay, inside go up. and pushed the button to go up. I don't want to be punished though. And let's hope there's not like two direction I can take up there. That will be nice. Or, sorry, I'm really itchy. My, my clothes being up? <laughs> oh, great. Can you open please? Thank you. Oh, there's only. Oh. Oh, I know that ending. I don't like it. No, no. I really don't like that ending. Oh, crap. Why are you actually talking, man? It almost huh? perplexed Stanley that he had actually gone and stepped into this metal <laughs> trap. After all, it should have been no surprise that this thing would lead him to his death. But he thought to himself, this is simply the price to pay for ruining a perfectly good story. Oh, shut the so he resigned and willingly accepted his yeah, fate, just, the inevitable anything. end toward which he had spent so long stumbling. Farewell, Stanley. Shut the fuck up. No, I'm not gonna die. I'm sure I'm not gonna die. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as he sent his subject down what? the conveyor belt and into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Let's go to destroy the metal cage. Oh, what? Ah, oh, thanks. It's a shame then, that for all his work, <laughs> it was such a meaningless victory for the narrator. Did he really think he would accomplish anything by murdering this disposable vessel? The levels are... The levels are... Kind of weird... What? Every possible choice Stanley could make had been designed for him long before he ever set foot here. <laughs> the narrator wanted to kill him. Kind of weird. Stanley was already dead. From the moment he hit start. I never hit start. I pressed the new game. There's no salvation for either of these two, I'm afraid. The narrator had as little power over Stanley as Stanley did over the wow, path that's that nice. he walked. But listen to me. This story is not over. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it will be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Jesus Christ. Hello? I really gotta quit. <laughs> nice. Alright. Uh, do I have another option? I don't know if I've got another ending I could... Yeah. I'm gonna see. Might be the end of the episode there. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to, to check on his co-workers. I think it was he never the functioned well by I himself. Could possibly and get. constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought oh, no. of total solitude was one. terrifying to him. 
When then Stanley came to a set one. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fast forward, maybe. I don't know. I don't like fast forwarding. Yeah. But I'm not too good lounge. with. Um, he was horrified to find not a probe, single so person here. What I'm doing is he decided just, he would walk I up to see his time on one and hoping I that he would find an answer there. Actually, shrinking it off, so I have to render just this one file. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his office. And then I have to re-shrink it again. So I don't really like doing Entering that. Entering his manager's office. So. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons yeah. on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct yeah, code fun. by it's, sheer It's weird, luck. isn't it? Amazing. Stanley ventured forth into the... As he drew deeper into the bowels <laughs> of the building, Stanley had no idea where he was just too fast or what this him. place held. And just as he began to think he might not discover a thing, he emerged into a long room to find rows and rows of monitors. Screens with a number above it. Just Stanley go. noticed, however, that these were not random numbers, Ugh. but the number of employees who worked in the building. They gotta turn off his the generator. Turn on the generator. Even actually. his own number, 427, had a place on the wall. But why a setup so elaborate, he asked. Was this simple surveillance or something even more? And as if in answer to his question, the wall slid open yeah. before him, revealing the ultimate truth of the situation. An enormous control panel Stanley discovered, but not Stanley one that like controlled simple history. Buttons were labeled with emotions, oh, wait, what? happy, sad, levers and knobs controlled actions, up. walking, eating, doing work, or watching right. TV. Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, but of a human being. And the reality began to sink in. Stanley, like so many other people, reduced to images on a monitor, had been under someone's control, always at the mercy of this machine. Can I please go Could up? this have been the only reason employee number 427 was content with his boring job? That a machine had altered his emotions to accept it blindly? He began to feel an unbridled rage, and at the peak of his anger, something happened. A spark. Stanley looked up and saw the generator overhead, still providing some right. small amount of power Shut to the up. machine, to keeping it alive. And knowing that this generator was all that kept the controls running, Stanley moved to the ladder in the back of the room and began to climb towards the rafters. Oh, this game is really pretty fucked up. Right. The higher Stanley climbed, the closer the he fourth felt world to freedom. Breaks this one are the further really from good. enslavement. Really, really good. <laughs> Bit tired. It's 11 p.m. here. Bit tired. Oh, Stanley. Yeah. You didn't that's just cool. activate the controls, did you? Yeah. After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that yep. what you wanted? Yeah. Control? Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. Yeah, it's You were meant to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you have. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation oh. system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Oh, let's make it say, um, two uh, minutes. That's too long. Two now, minutes, it's this is long. making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Yeah. Go ahead. Play with those controls all you like. The real controls are where I'm sitting. Fuck you. Did you really ever believe you held any power? Did you not think I knew what I was doing? 
When I erased your co-workers and turned off the machine, I was offering you freedom and escape. I didn't have to do that. Oh my god. I've run this story many times and I don't always set you free. Sometimes you just sit there, day oh, after day don't after fuck day, with my mind. doing your job forever and then dying alone. Don't but fuck. when I actually give you the freedom to control your own actions, it's not enough. I let you go, and you trapped yourself just the same. You just weren't made to handle this sort of responsibility, I'm afraid. But you know what you were made for? Pushing Yeah, that's buttons. what I'm doing right now. <laughs> you get it now? Oh, I'm enjoying this. Tell you what, I'll throw some extra time on the clock just because I'm having so much fun. There we go. Oh, come on. You see, I want to watch you for every long second you try to puzzle this out. After all, it should make sense, right? The timer, the nuclear detonation, the mysterious facility, it's all here. This is a video game. Except for one thing there, hero. You've got no weapon, like said, no vehicle. You like don't I even said, know where you're breaks. going. When you saw that timer, you just instinctively started trying to find an exit, didn't you? Yeah. In fact, I bet you're still looking for a way out. I bet you're clicking on everything in this room, no. trying to open doors or vents no, or something me. and solve the puzzle. As though this game has a solution, as though it can be won. No. That timer is not a catalyst to keep things moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. This is not a challenge. You don't know me. It's a tragedy. It's the moment when the hero realizes that despite his best uh. efforts, he is powerless to his environment. Don't fuck with and my mind, please. He lets go. He surrenders. And he dies. 30 seconds, Stanley. 30 seconds. Until a boom. Shut up. Nothing. No ending to this story, just you dying. I suppose you could have gotten an actual ending if you played along, but Fuck that you. just wouldn't have been your style, would it? Fuck you. Instead, you'll perish knowing that the only choice you made here was to turn on that machine <laughs> and to start this timer. Uh. But you won't be alone, because I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here to watch every second of your Shut inevitable up. life from the time we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Ah oh, crap, I was so fucking weird. Maybe I could have turned it off. Oh. Well, I think this is all the innings we're gonna get from this game, though. <laughs> Sadly. Um, yeah, it's a really good game. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. S leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. See you.